The NHL has no clue what hockey fans want. The NHL is the worst league with the best sport. There's been tons of examples of this throughout the year. The latest example was them announcing their partnership with Fanatics to be the new on-ice uniform partner across the NHL starting in 2024 and 2025. This has royally pissed off a lot of fans and here's why. Fanatics is known to struggle in the quality department when it comes to their products. Whether it's misspelling names or getting the jersey colors flat out wrong, it has a horrible reputation with hockey fans. So of course, naturally, the NHL thought it was a great idea to make them the official jersey partner for the entire league. Now, there's been some funny memes about this across the internet, but it seems like the NHL is doing everything in its power to make horrible business decisions for the league. Let's start with digital ads. These things are absolutely brutal and no one likes them. We've all seen the classic examples of them interrupting the game. Of course, according to Gary Bettman, there is absolutely no issue with the digital ads. Okay, whatever, that is annoying if you're a fan and you enjoy watching the games, but then you also have arguably two of the biggest hockey players in the world speak out against the current format of the NHL. There was McDavid advocating to get rid of shootouts earlier in the year, and then you had Sidney Crosby saying that the league should return to a 1v8 playoff format. Both are which things fans want to see, yet the NHL has no real interest in doing either. The NHL is simply out of touch with their fan base. The All-Star Game was a prime example of this. The most talented players in the world trying to do their best sketch comedy impressions is not exactly what people want to see. Brad Marchand knows it, yet another NHL star speaking up, but you'd probably be hard pressed to find someone who disagrees. It just seems like at any moment, the NHL does its absolute best to give the fans the opposite of what they want. This of course goes for the on ice product as well as the latest example is the refs breaking up a potential goalie fight between Jordan Bennington and Marc-Andre Fleury. Literally everyone waits for a moment like this in hockey and with both goalies being ready to go, the refs do the absolute worst thing possible and break it up before it even gets started. There's a bigger issue here which you could argue is a mandate for the league to eliminate fighting, but it's just another example of how the NHL is doing a horrible job at giving the fans what they want. The worst part is, is the quality of hockey is probably the best it's ever been. The talent in the league is through the roof and it's incredible to watch these players on a nightly basis. That's if, of course, you can even watch the game as regional blackouts have completely ruined the watching experience for hockey fans all over the nation. When your own fans can't catch a highly anticipated game easily and effortlessly, you're doing something wrong. So what do you think about all this? Does this at all worry you for the future of hockey? In my opinion, I think if the NHL keeps this kind of stuff up, it'll just be harder and harder to attract newer fans and newer viewers to the game. They can already barely keep up with the NFL and the NBA as it is, but if they keep this going, I think they'll have a real hard time attracting new viewers to the game. Anyways, let me know in the comments down below what you think, and as always, if you enjoy this video and want to see more just like it, click on any of the links right here.